Blackstock from Performance Ford magazine and today we're going to be tinting windows. Typically uh, and historically tinting windows isn't something that the average DIY modifier has been able to do. Uh, it's a very skilled process particularly applying the tinting film which is why the people who do it for a living do it for a living they're very good at it uh, and it's something that is very easy to get wrong uh, as a DIYer. However today we're going to be using a different system from Solar Plexus in uh, Sweden which uses pre-cut panels in polycarbonate, vehicle specific, um, which simply fit to the inside of the windows, held in place with some simple clips, and do the job very easily. Um, very easy to fit, cost effective, and now we're gonna look at how to do it. So the first thing to do is unpack your package from Solar Plexus, uh, which consists of the, uh, the pre-cut panels. For our vehicle, we're, we're fitting to our project Mondeo Estate. So there's seven panels in total, the two rear windows, the small um, rear door windows, the side panels in the, in the boot area and the tailgate. So once you've opened your panel, not using a knife, first thing you do is you come to the instructions and the fixing clips, take those out, and then remove the panels themselves. These are two of the windows. As you'll see, they're pre-cut um, to shape and covered with uh, protective film. So you leave the film backing on um, until the last minute until you're ready to fit. So the first thing we need to do is clean the inside of the windows that we're going to be tinting. So we'll head down to the back of the car now and make a start there. So hopefully you don't need me to uh, tell you how to clean a window. What I will say though is when you do do it, do it properly. If you leave any streaks, for example, we haven't done it yet, but there's a, there's a mark here. If you leave any marks like that, then they'll be behind the panel once you've inserted it. And I guarantee you will, uh, you'll always look at them, you'll always notice them and they will drive you crazy. Once we've done the inside, we'll just give the outside a quick clean as well, make sure we haven't missed anything on the inside that will be a pain in the future. A little bit more paper, just make sure we get rid of all the smears. And time to get the panels. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the panel, still with the protective backing sheet on it, and just offer it up to the window and make sure that it's the right size, which it is. You can see here that the panel itself is slightly larger than the glass area. Uh, that's because the panel tucks into the trim surrounding the window and that's what holds it in place. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to very carefully just peel the very corners of the backing sheet off there because what we're going to do now is put on the protective gloves that come with the kit to stop any um, fingerprints on the glass. We're then going to peel them off and we're going to fit it to the window. Before we do this back window, what we're going to do is we're just going to Lower the window down into the door, which gives us a bit more room to work with the panel before we try and get that in. Just get rid of a couple of marks which are still left here. And then we peel off the backing sheet. The other side. You can also see if you tried to do that without the gloves on, that would be a real mess now. So, you just get the orientation of the panel right for the door. Uh, some cars it's easy to do from the inside, as we're going to, other cars it's easy to do from the outside. Uh, we're going to try with the, from the inside. The, the panels themselves are very flexible, uh, which allows you to bend them in all kinds of directions to get them to fit uh, once you actually start working. So we're going to slide this corner down inside the trim, and then we're going to pop this side in first. Slide that forward, fairly straightforward. We're then going to slide this back section in. This section in at the back and then slide the whole panel so that it's then equally spaced front to back. So we've got the polycarbonate panel inside the window frame now. So what we're gonna do is put the glass back up to centralize that, check everything's, um, everything's in line, and then we're almost done with, uh, with this window. So 
just check that that's nicely lined up, nice and firmly held in place. And then that's, that's that panel almost done. So we're going to go through the same process now with the small infill panel. Um, we slide that in, I think, at the bottom. Let's start at the bottom with that one. Slide that in so it sits behind this trim panel. Now that's slightly loose, so what we do is we use one of the clips supplied with the kit. Um, the manufacturer recommends two per panel. Well, we've had a look, we reckon just one clip here will hold that panel in place uh, on this window. So we just peel the backing off. You then slide the clip, you hold the panel in place, slide the clip underneath the trim next to the, next to the polycarbonate panel. And then stick that to the panel. That then holds that in place, nice and secure, no rattling. And we're done with that door. Finished, we're now going to go around and do the rest of the car. Right. We're fitting this one now. Obviously, a fixed window, so no glass that we can move down. But now we start to see the benefit of using this flexible polycarbonate where we can bend it into the shape of the, of the panel. It is flexible, but it's also rigid enough that it's not going to be moving around all over the place and popping out anytime soon. A little bit of gentle persuasion here. In she goes. There. There we are. So we've put one clip in at the back of this panel here. We're now going to put another clip in at the front of the panel and then that will hold those in place uh, nice, and, nice and tightly. And then that will be that panel finished. And that's that one done. That's it. So now we're going to do the, the tailgate window. If the lighting looks different, it's because we've had to shut the doors. Being England, the bright sunshine has given way to sleet and snow now, so we're fully indoors uh, working on the back window. So the first thing to do, as with the others, is clean the glass. Now that's clean, we'll go and get our panel and start putting it in. So the other thing with this panel is uh, because the boot is open, effectively it's upside down, so you're just going to get your head around that, get the right, get the panel orientated in the right way. Start with the sides of what would be the bottom. Slot the panel in around the cutout for the wiper motor first and then pop it into place. That's the easiest of the lot. With that in place, a couple of clips to hold that in, uh, hold that nice and securely, and that one's done. So we take a couple of clips, and we just look to find out where using the clips might work best, and we could put them in a couple of the sides here. That should work, that would work well. Alternatively, we could put some in here, which would also work well. I think, one at the bottom of each screen there, one on that side, one on that side, and that should do the trick quite nicely. As we did before, peel the backing off. Be careful not to stick it to our glass. Slide the clip in between the polycarbonate panel and the car's trim panel, and stick it to the panel. One on this side. And that's the boot done. <laughs> and there we have it, that's it. It's taken us maybe an hour to tint all of the windows that we're legally allowed to tint in the UK. And it's been an absolute doddle. It's been a really, really easy, straightforward process. 
Uh, the panels were cut perfect shape and size. Uh, they went in beautifully. Um, everything we needed to do was in the kit. Um, it's been a really, really, really easy job. Fantastic. If I had to pick fault with something, um, it would be that you can no longer use the uh, the rear windows. You can't roll the windows down in the back because the polycarbonate panel stays in place. Uh, but there's a simple remedy for that. There's a little switch just here that you turn off the back windows and then the kids, all rear seat passengers, can't play and it's not a problem anymore.